What's up mofos? Baby mofo here with a new review for you guys and I got something really special today guys. It is the Wismic Luxotic DF box guys. Now it is another one in the Luxotic range and it is the DF box. Basically it is a 200 watt dual 18650 squonker. Yes guys. 200 watt squonker and I'm loving it guys. I am really loving it. Now let's get down to the unboxing and let's see what this nice elegant device is all about. See it out there guys. Okay now we're down here with the Wismic Luxotic DF box. Now this was sent to me by Wismic for the purposes of this review and firstly guys this packaging the color scheme and everything is just so eye-catching and the mod the color of the mod on the packaging packaging matches the mod inside the box which is really cool as well now at the side here you're going to see a scratch and check and the wismic logo at the back you're going to see what the kit contains uh and I will show you that right now. At the bottom, you're going to see their website and at the side, some social media. And that's basically it. Now, let's get this sleeve off and this will reveal a hard and nice hard box. And when we open this up, you're going to see the DF, a luxotic DF box mod by Wismic and firstly you have the star of the show right here which is a real eye-catching blue and black really really nice looking mod now let's leave that aside and let's see what else comes with it now when we take this out you look at the bottom here under this cover here you're gonna get a USB port now this is for charging and upgrading of the firmware and you also receive a guillotine v2 rda now i have done a full review for this rda with the luxotic uh, mf kit and i will add a link right here now you're also going to receive a user manual for the df box and a user manual for the guillotine v2 as well as a battery warning card really good now in the box you're going to have now let's get all of that out of here you're gonna get a bag of goodies which you do have some uh well they were they do give you two cords which i have used already but you do have an extra post screw some post screws an extra negative post screw 5t and positive pin extra o-rings and a tool you're gonna get an 810 tall style drip tip as well some uh, muji cotton and an extra squonk bottle right okay, there as well hey guys now let's talk about the mod firstly let's get a few size specs out of the way now since the 510 pin is flush we could get an accurate height and the height of this mod we'll be looking at a 77 millimeters guys width at the widest point you're looking at 42 millimeters and a depth at the widest point you'll be looking at 54 millimeters guys now this mod can accommodate up to a 24 millimeter atty with no overhang whatsoever now anything above a 24 millimeter atty you're going to get overhang guys now this particular guillotine v2 that they've sent with the beauty ring on you're going to have a slight overhang now as you can see when i do put it on now now this becomes a 25 millimeter but as you can see there you're going to have that really slight overhang guys it's really slight doesn't bug me as you can hear it's catching on that and yeah but it does it will bug some people yeah now let's get into the mod itself now to remove the squawk bottle you have to get your finger in here get that piece out 
open your battery door like so and just slip it out real easy real simple and I will suggest you fill your bottle up before you start batteries in and the bottle does take seven and a half milliliters of liquid to the brim and I have tested that guys now the reason why I said foot uh, uh, fill your bottle up before you put your batteries in because if you do have batteries in here just like this and let's say you want to actually fill up your bottle now you're going to open this and your batteries are going to come out if you have your mod in the slightest of angles so i'll suggest to fill the bottle up first and then put the batteries in and get yourself one of those bottom filler mod bottles i got one of those it's a geek fake flask for example and it works well with this mod and that means you'll never have to take out that bottle whilst you are vaping because you will always have juice on the go and you can fill it directly from your 510 pin now let's get this piece back on as you can see you have a slight hook or tab there now make sure you get the hook in and make sure you get the piece on straight and it'll snap into place now what i didn't show you right here guys is that you have two magnets right there and two magnets right there that holds the store quite firmly in place now with batteries in you don't have any battery rattle a uh, battery door rattle guys you have slight battery rattle but not battery door rattle now you do have quite a lot of button rattle here as you can hear and that's coming from these buttons i managed to figure out that it's coming from your wattage and wattage up and wattage down buttons guys but I'm sure they'll get to fixing that before they release this out to consumers. Now, battery venting, you're going to see this at the bottom here. Really uh, nice battery venting at the bottom. Quite big battery vent venting for this mod. And as you can see, it is a dual 18650. Positive sign right here is marked and is visible. And you do also have it right down the tube. Now, I'm not sure if you can make that out in the dark. But as you see right in there, you'll see a negative on this side and a positive on that side. But normally no one looks in the tube. Now, if this was marked in white, it will be highly visible and no one will miss it. But that's just my opinion. Now, when we get this on here, battery door sits nice and flush as you can see. Uh, uniform gap all the way around. Slight gap, which is okay, guys. No problems with the battery door so far, and I've been using this mod religiously for about six days now. Now, let's get into the actual face of the mod. Really nice screen with the actual black piece here and the screen being one whole unit. I really dig that. I think it's really uh, elegant. Now, the actual functions of the mod. Five clicks off. Five clicks on and when you uh, power it on it goes straight to uh, your power mode so you can use it immediately which I like there's no delays now on your screen here as you can see you have your battery indicators at the bottom which will you have two separate ones for each battery puff counter above that uh, your power button uh, your power is well in power mode you'll have your wattage up or your wattage up at the top voltage meter on the left and your ohm meter on the right now changes to your temperature mode you're going to click three times on the fire button as you'll see the power the power word is flashing click on your wattage up button and this will take you into your temperature settings now to change from nickel just press your wattage down button and this will make you access your wire types. Now, if you press your watch up button, it will get you from nickel to titanium, from titanium to stainless steel, titanium to nickel, or stainless steel to nickel again, and so forth and so forth. Now, if you press your wattage down button, it'll take you to your uh, wattage entry, uh, wattage setting, and you, this can be anywhere from one watt to all the way up to 200 watts guys which is really cool there's no limitation on that and uh, yeah it's a really good feature now if you long press your 
five button if you hold your five button and that will set it in now to lock your resistance you have to do the whole process again click on this three times one two three titanium this whole top will be flashing um what it's done what it's done what it's done as you can see your ohmmeter is flashing now what it's up will lock that resistance now I suggest you do this at room temperature now as you can see if you press your fire button it'll set all those settings in place now if you click on this three times you can go into your curve settings now if you press your what it's down buttons you can choose mode one m1 uh, let's just get back there your m1 m2 m3 uh, and that's basically your different mode settings now if you go what it's down you can access your uh, power settings and that's anywhere from 1 to 200 watts what it's down again or fire button three times what it's down what it's down what it's down you can also lock your resistance here same way we done it in temp mode now let's get back into power mode because that's where i like to vape and just click on the fire button to set it now as you can see here guys we got the coils that were provided for us in here and it is ohming out at 0.18 ohms we have already dry fired it and taken out those hot spots but just let's have a look again and as you can see those coils are even heating up nice and even from the center out now let's let this cool down and when we come back we'll wick it up see you when we return guys now the coals are cool let's wick it up and i'm using some cotton bacon prime right here i'm just taking a strip out and taper down the one end so it'll be easier to get in now let's get into these coils just like that let's pull in how much you need now i do want it slightly on the tighter side so that I don't get any split back now let's just trim how much we need just a bit of back and forth and do the same on the other side just like that go back and forth and let's just trim these excess tails now grab your elbow tweezer or any tweezer and let's fluff out these leads now what i like to do is put my finger behind this cotton just to give it something hard to fluff or comb out against and that should be good and right there now what i'm going to do is put my take my measurement to cut the cotton from outside this what do you call this uh beauty ring right here reason being i do want slightly a bit extra so that it'll be wicked up more efficiently now let's get this in here now remember get your cotton nice and straight because you don't want any clumped up fibers if you have any clumped up fibers it's not going to work efficiently and you're going to dry it now that's perfect let's get the other one in here that's good as well let's do the same on this side and the last one right here nice and straight like that guys now you want it looking something like that now let's just give it a squonk you won't be able to see it now because the cotton is blocking it off but juice is going into both sides here now if you see 
you might see the cotton soaking this up right now but let's just help it along just carefully on the coils when you're dripping juice here because it will tend to run into the airflows because of the shape of it and it might be something of the phobia the way the airflows or the hugs wave lotus art here the way the airflow is shaped now as you can see we've just helped it along there turn the wattage up here to say 65 watts looking good nice angry coil now let's get the top cap on this let's get the airflow lined up because I do like it on the bottom floor uh, bottom airflow configuration just like that and let's take it up top and see how it vapes see you up top guys. okay guys now we got that freshly wet uh, guillotine v2 rda and i remember the full review i'll add another link right here and you can click on that for the full review of the guillotine v2 rda um yeah guys i got a point one same one nine ohm uh build here now this is i'm presuming the nr80 build by the way it's ohming out and by the way this coil is performing and especially on the coloration of it as well uh but yeah this is what i'm thinking it is an ni80 coil because i did use the ones that were provided now let's have a vape and let's see how it vapes by the way i am running it at 70 watts for the 100 watt preheat and yeah guys let's see how it vapes This mod just it hits it's instantaneous guys it fires instantaneously there's like no delay there is no delay guys with when you tuck the fire button to when it hits and that's that's really nice I really dig that and most of these devices out here nowadays have instant fire yes but um, in a squonker it's refreshing because we normally use our mechanical squonkers and we don't really have the luxury to uh uh regulated squonker we don't normally use that because we normally most of the squonkers out there are mechanical and it does have quite a wrap up time so it's quite refreshing to press a squonker and it's right there this particular rta that comes with it i think it's one of the most versatile rta's out there on the market and it performs amazing guys it's really amazing it might be a little tricky to work with now and then because of those clamps but i mean in terms of flavor in terms of vapor production it's it's really good it's really really good and you can get really big coils in there really really big coils in there because the post holes are massive firstly and secondly you have the room to, to do so uh, not to mention your bottom or top flow uh, top airflow options now the mod itself the mod i dig it guys from the time that was make sent me this mod to review it's been hard to get it out of my hands to actually get a review out and that's why i'm a bit late for the review but it's an amazing mod yes it does have a few cons um number one is the way the uh, the design of the squunk bottle uh, to uh, placement is basically and it does take the third battery and I wish there was another way to actually remove it because you do need to actually open the door take it out and your batteries might slip out which is a slight con more of a slight uh, annoying con in my opinion secondly you do have that button rattle and the slight battery rattle and uh, the battery rattle will be um sorted out by putting those sleeves that Wismic always puts it and that should sort out your battery rattle in terms of your button rattle that'll take a bit more work and that's another con guys and it's one of those annoying cons in my opinion because you really have to uh shake this mod all the time like this to actually hear that button rattle and no one's gonna do that and that's more of a subjective con in terms of my opinion, that's not going to put me off. I love this mod, guys. I really, really do. And would I suggest that you pick one up? Definitely. Go ahead and pick one up, guys, because 
in terms of your vaping collection or an everyday mod, you can't go wrong. But for the guys who want to use this as an everyday mod, I don't see what's stopping them from putting a tank on this and using it as a normal mod. I mean, if I had one mod, I'll use it because I'll do it because it goes up to 200 watts and it serves the same purpose. That's just my opinion on it, guys. And let me know of your opinion down in the comment section below. And hit that like button if you've liked this video. And subscribe to my channel for daily vape reviews. That's Vapey Mofo. I forgot my sign, guys. Out.